All right, guys. This is my uh, my latest um, rodent coil. I, actually, this is my first actual rodent coil. Uh, I built some <clears throat> Starship coils, which are interesting. Um, another Starship coil here, but uh, this is the one I want to show you because this is uh, just so you can get some information. This is nine and a half inches in diameter or uh, across, and um, I believe it's number 20 gauge wire, uh, 19 wraps, uh, two individual circuits. And then I have it actually wrapped on another wire. So I don't know, it's a bundle of wire, I don't know what it is. And uh, as I was building it, I had a small problem where the uh, bundle of wire bent on me because I was, t I was uh, winding it so tight. So that was a problem, but it didn't break the wire, it's still connected. Uh, I've got it hooked up to a bridge rectifier, and uh, my voltage out output is there. Uh, just so you know where my meters are, this meter here is the voltage actually going into the coil. Uh, this is the uh, frequency I'm using. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate. That's not what I'm using now. It's off, but it's just kind of floating around. Um, this will be my amperage. I've got it on amps because I just blew out my milliamp earlier trying something out. Um, <clears throat> this is a pulse width modulator. Uh, Dave Longtown's circuit is actually what it what it is. So it's a uh, it's got a gating frequency in it. Um, so that's what this is here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here. And uh, running at 3.2 amps. Uh, frequency is 0.165 kilohertz. And uh, my voltage going into my coil is right under 10 volts. Um, in case you're curious, I'm getting 27.3 volts DC out of my coil here. Um, I will show you that in another video about how much voltage I can get out of there. I had it up over 400 um, volts DC, so that's pretty cool. But I'll show you that another day, or another video. What I want to show you right now is, uh, let's, let's do this first. I'll stick a magnet in here. Okay, uh, it, it won't even, it wants to stand up this far above the coil. So that's that's a pretty good size amount of uh, magnet uh, magnetics going on here. Uh, it it literally it won't it will not let me turn it over. And it just wants to flip. You can hear it humming. What's cool is whenever I put this magnet in here, my amperage goes down. Just slightly. So if I had it on milliamps, it would probably be a lot better. But here's what I want to show you. This is a regular screw. Uh, it is magnetic. Uh, it's not magnetized. I can't pick up anything else with it. As you can see here, this does not pick up anything. But I can actually float this screw, or I consider floating inside of this coil. get more in the center. There you go. Okay, it is floating. It's standing up all by itself. Whoa. Oh, that's my green light. <laughs> that kind of freaked me out. Okay. That was interesting. So, this screw is floating in here right now. Those green lines are uh, reflecting off my pulse width light there. So the screw is floating in here. Um, if I get it close to the edge, it'll fall over. It kind of vibrates. Uh, if I just sit in there, it doesn't do anything. But I can stand it up, which I thought was really interesting. I mean, I that's just cool. I don't know any other coil that you can stand up any mag uh, piece of metal you stick in it like that. Now here's another interesting thing. I showed you earlier that I was these were not magnetic. Well, if I put them together, now I pick that up. Further I go away, it doesn't want to stand up. 
get this to stand in there. And I'm going to adjust this. I'll, I'll turn it off for you so you can see what happens. Screw just falls over. Turn it back on. And I can adjust my frequency. I'll adjust it here and you can you can hear it, but you can see the screw kind of move around. Put it back in there. I can actually get it to spin. Okay, back to the experiment. So I'll just take another screw. Um, this is just a big bolt. I'll stick it in here. And it's literally become the magnet. Which is remarkable. That's really cool. I'm uh, super excited to find out that I just did this. That's, I think that's neat. Uh, check it out, though. And it's almost like it's got polarity. Because if I do it one way... And I flip it over... Sometimes it, it almost repels it. Try it this way. So anyway, I can't get anything much taller to stand up in here. Uh, it it almost does, but it's just a little top heavy. Try a different frequency, maybe. I think it's just too tall. They're just trying to stand up. So anyway, yeah, there you go. It's getting a little warm, so I'm gonna shut her down soon. Floating screw. Alright, in my next video, if you want to watch it, I'm going to see how much voltage I can get out of my rectifier here, which is hooked up to uh, this inner coil. So I'm going to shut her down, let it cool off, and uh, see you in a few.